Right. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. One of the oldest in the world, isn't it? Yeah, or, or the second oldest in North America. Correct. Yeah. After San Francisco. There you go. Hey. <laughs> a little news quiz for you. All right, let's talk uh, sports and track. Yes, track, Hudson. It's a sure sign that summer is just around the corner. When the high school track and field season starts to wind down, the Oak Bay Bays are a perennial powerhouse on the track, not just on the island, but in the province. And the defending provincial champs are poised to repeat as BC's best, anchored by one of the fastest young men on the planet. <laughs> And these size 12s belong to Brendan Restall. The Oak Bay star is on a fast track to becoming Canada's next great middle distance runner. He specializes in the 400 and 800 meter. His personal best in the 400 is an incredible 47.26 seconds. Well, Brendan is already on the Canadian Olympic team's radar, having finished seventh at the Youth World Championships in France in 2011. And he's being groomed for Rio 2016. Coach Dacre Bowen says his athlete hasn't even come close close to reaching his potential. Oh, not even close. Matter of fact, we were uh, down at Phoenix at an Olympic development uh, camp, and he had an opportunity to run with some of the 800 meter runners that will be going to uh, 2012. And then he also worked with some of the sprinters. And one of the conversations we had was, you know, look at your body and look at their bodies, see where they are and where you are. And, and he knows that he's just now starting starting his journey. I think this year, um, continue working hard and just progressing and maybe make it to World Juniors in Spain this year. Eventually, perhaps Rio, and then there's even more behind that, but yeah, that's the goal there. Well, plenty of post-secondary institutions wanted to see Brandon wearing their colors, but this island boy has his feet firmly planted on Vancouver Island, and he's committed to the UVic Vikes program in the fall. I like their team, I like their coach, it's, everything just seems to go smoothly and I like the atmosphere, so it just seemed like the right place to go. UVic is kind of Canada central for middle distance, for 8 and 15. So he'll have the opportunity to get into a system where he can grow in a system and not have to switch systems in the middle. You know, you go south and it's a contract and you have to perform. And that's not necessarily in the best interest of the athlete long term. Here's the big question, though. Can you beat him? Not anymore. <laughs> Well, in hockey, we don't see many goalies moving on to the head coaching ranks. TV analysts, yes. Head coaches, no. In our other national sport, though, it's a different story. The Victoria Senior Shamrocks gave the reins to former keeper Bob Hayes this season, and the Junior Rocks have followed their lead. Well, Old-time lacrosse is back at the Bear this season, and the guy in charge is a former Shamrock legend. One look at these wall of fame, and you'll see Larry Smeltzer's credentials. Not only was he one of the top ball stoppers in history, but his 370 assists are proof that he could get the fast break moving in a hurry. In Smeltzer's era, players weren't defined by offense and defense, and he's getting away from one-dimensional roles for his players. With the line blurred between offense and defense, Smeltzer's boys are thinking inside the box. Here's the way I feel the lacrosse is gone. It's, it really should be interpreted as we are now trying to play field lacrosse inside an arena. It slows the game down. Um, it, it's not where it belongs. Field lacrosse belongs in the field. A lot of us believe field lacrosse belongs in an English boarding school. So we're trying to bring that tough old time lacrosse back to it. Uh, fast moving, fast break lacrosse. Well, Smeltzer played in an era where shamrock pride meant something more than just pulling on the jersey and passing that on to this generation is part of the job. In the past, I've heard, you know, you guys are shamrocks, so you're proud. You don't just tell somebody there's pr you're proud, right? Shamrock pride, I would say, is not dead. I just think it's in a bit of a coma right now. What do we have to do to uh, jumpstart that? Well, winning is a good start. <laughs> We reinforce again that they represent Victoria in the Junior A Lacrosse League and uh, that it is a big deal. This year we got a lot of speed, so we're going to try and be getting up the floor real quick and uh, looking for transition opportunities, and everybody's going to be doing their role. 